Hey yo, what's up? Maji here, and we are back with Dive into Dreamcatcher episode 12. So today we're going to be checking out Dreamcatcher's Boca MV, as well as their dance practice, and by special request, the K Zombie dance version. So uh, we're gonna get to find out what that's all about. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's Dreamcatcher's Boca MV. So part two, dystopia, lose myself. We're back with the tree. Just for the beginning, I think. But this is an urban urban setting. We have Kayan starting us up. Loving her facial expressions. Ooh, you look so intense there. That part of Dami just looks super cool. What is this garden setting? Ooh. And now this this set looks creepy. That drop after the word Boca? Mmm. Ooh. From this, the snippets of choreo that I'm seeing, it's getting me excited to see the dance practice. Floating droplets of water? They're really amping up with uh, amping it up with the special effects. Ooh. I, I really love that lead into the chorus. What's happening there? What is she crying? What were her tears made of? Ew. That looked kinda sketchy. Okay. Um so that was Dreamcatcher's Boca MV. I'm not sure what was going on in that MV actually. Uh mostly I was just like in awe at like how uh what do you call this? Sorry. Like how cool everything looks. <laughs> um, there were wait, like quite a bunch of sets that uh, really struck me, but in different ways. You know, like um, like especially the parts with uh, where they're in the garden, and then uh, yeah, like like where you have Yuyon with the floating rain droplets and then uh, something is happening to Sua underneath that tree 
and can't quite recall what's happening to the others though. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's like all mostly connected to the lore. Uh, hopefully one day I'll understand it. But anyways, uh, yeah. That was a really cool MV. Like, uh, I liked how there were a lot of different shots that struck me. Not 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 just the shots with the amazing special effects, but uh, shots also where you get like these awesome uh expressions from the members like I, I i believe i pointed out the one with uh yuyon in the starting and also uh dummy yeah then what else struck me there like Jiu looked really cool with the bow <laughs> and um Gaion, like for some reason like uh the facial expressions Gaion were making at the starting i feel like i'm see i was seeing them for the first time not quite sure like either i've that's the first time i've seen her make those expressions or uh that's the first time her facial expressions really struck me <laughs> uh either way it was cool to watch anyways music wise i really really love the lead in to the chorus like uh you have this like part where the the instrumental fades and then you just have the this these high pitched tones for the uh you know wh whichever member is singing the lyrics at that point going into the word boca right uh and then the instrumental drops right after and it's uh it drops hard and so that contrast really creates an impact and i really really like it and uh as you go on through the chorus uh, you still get uh, uh, this these other lines delivered in a well with in a high pitch, and it it adds to the etherealness of the of the vocals in the song. And so you get this feeling throughout the song that of of being in some sort of higher plane or other world and it's a yeah it's it, it's it's a testament to how like how with uh with these mixture of vocals and instrumentals uh you can create the semblance of a world just from the audio alone like even without the mv i feel like if if i closed my eyes and listened to the song it's in korean so i wouldn't understand the lyrics but just listening to it i'd feel like there's this struggle going on but it's happening in some other dimension some other world some other reality and so it's nice to have like an atmosphere that's built up uh, through that anyways yeah um, I think that's about what I can say for now for the Boca MV let's get right into the dance practice and see uh, more of what the snippets of choreo that I've been seeing throughout the MV <laughs> So here we are with the Boca Dance Video Practice Room version. At least I think that's Practice Room version. I mean the, the Hangul on top. <laughs> Didn't bother to read it properly. Ooh, okay. Other dancers with props.
Very intense entrance. Oh, love the transition there. Hmm. This this part really sounds so cool. I love how the dancers provide additional like visual details to the choreography. Hmm. Wow. Okay, here's the build up. Okay. Oh, I love how Yuyon delayed a little bit before going into her moves there. like a reverse isolation or basically just isolation but she wasn't moving Okay, so that's what those unfurl to. Oh, love the reveal there. Oh, yeah, I love that delay with Yuyon in the middle. And this circular movement, uh, just wow. Or not exactly circular, but cannon. From side to side. Ooh, I love how that was staggered. So what's Sion? Sion was doing that high note there, right? I mean, probably not for this. They're concentrating on the choreography, but I just found out from that. Okay, so that was the Boca dance practice. Okay, um, theme, theme. This might not be like the, the overarching theme or anything, but one word that I would use to describe that choreography is intense. And I love the intensity of it. Um, really, they, they're, uh, they're not only just like pulling off these moves, you know, they're, they're, they're pulling it off with this really really intense attitude and um i especially like that the the reveal transitions especially with um when they when they line up then fan out and then also with the unfurled banners and then the the members appearing from behind it uh reveal transitions to me are like Kind of part of the magic of dance. I don't know. Every time I see it, like even though it's something that happens, you know, a, a lot in the choreography of K-pop, it's just like magic every time you see it well executed. And then, yeah, I. But the part in the choreography that I really, really loved and should be obvious from me pointing it out a couple of times throughout uh, throughout that is when they get into the chorus and then Yuyon just freezes for a couple of seconds before joining the rest of the group in the choreography and so 
it, it's such a stark contrast. You you notice it right away because Yuyun's in the middle, and everyone around her like moves at the start of the chorus, and she's just like in her pose, and I don't know. It it just hits me uh, that much more. And uh, so, yeah, I really, really love that part. Anything else I can say? Um, probably not any more for now. The these are uh, the MV and the dance practice are. Uh, I'm most likely going to be rewatching them a lot. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's move things along. And check out the K Zombie dance video. So, yeah, let's see what this is all about. Ooh. Okay, oh, they're in Jason period. Um, costumes? Ooh, Kayan's in a... in a warrior outfit. I'm loving the aesthetic that these costumes are giving. And then the extra dancers around them are the zombies. Right? And they're modifying their moves to be more zombie-like. So a bit looser, hanging downwards. Expressions on Yuyon's face. I only saw that now. Like she goes through multiple expression changes going into the her line going into Boca. The zombies. Mm. See if we see it here again. Oh, it's different. But still looks just as cool. Yeah, I love that cannon there. Oh, what? And now they got infected as well. They're all zombies now. Oh, this is cool. Sion's high note just sounded more creepy because of this. Okay. One thing I gotta say. I was not expecting that part at the end. Like, I thought, like, they were just gonna be in their, like, uh, just... They're just gonna be humans in Jocelyn costumes, like, the, the members of Dreamcatcher. 
It'll just be humans in uh, Justin period costumes all throughout with the uh, backup dancers as the zombies. And then suddenly when you get to that that line of Sion and then the zombies start to attack her. It's like, wait, what? What's happening? And then they all end up becoming zombified and and somehow they just all look cooler for it. It's, uh, yeah, I, I really like how that ended. It, it's just like... Uh, to be fair, I should have seen it coming, but it still shocked me anyway. No, maybe not. I wouldn't have seen it coming. Uh, no, wait. I, sh I, it's something I would have expected before starting this. Like, uh, when this is recommended to me, it just said like K zombie, right? So my expectations were that everyone in the video would be zombies. So it was actually a, a subversion where they started off the video as humans. And then at the end, that's when they bring it back to my original expectation of they all have to be zombies. And that's what uh, shocked me because of the subversion in the starting. Uh, but yeah. When the, and then Sion in zombie form, like with the... I don't, I don't know what that was, like pale blonde hair? I don't know, it just really, really creeped me out. And when she went into her high note at the end, it it kind of gave me chills. And uh, yeah, th this is just a great uh, version of their choreography. Because uh, from the starting, like, like not, not from the starting, but... Uh, Yeah, from the starting, um, it is quite evident that Boca is a very, well, I mentioned this earlier already. Boca is a very ethereal, otherworldly sounding song, especially with all the high pitched tones that they use, not just going into Boca, but also in, in the verses as well. They go into their, their head tones, their higher register. And so you get this. This eerie, creepy, ethereal vocals. And then with this K zombie version, it just. Uh, enhances that atmosphere. So, all in all, th that was a really, really great, really great job on that. So. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for my reaction to Dreamcatcher's Boca MV Dance Practice and K-Zombie Dance version. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free with some extra bonus content for those who are kind enough to support me by subscribing. So uh, just go ahead and check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this otherworldly supernatural journey with Dreamcatcher. And until next time, have a great day everyone. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.